everybody what's going on so we just got this uh, new video of jugmeet saying it looks like he was confronted by someone and then they said some you know they shouted some nasty things on him and then he decided to kind of confront the guy and uh, kind of lashed out on him which is kind of pretty funny so i just wanted to talk about this a little bit uh, now before i do uh, get into this uh, short clip that i want to show you uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel and also leave whatever uh, you're thinking or any questions or general comments that you have in the comment section as i do enjoy um, engaging with you guys so let's have a quick look at this video it's just over a minute long and then we'll talk about it after like usual Choosing war with Russia? Is that why you won't go for peace? All right, so that's basically it. I've actually never seen uh, Jugme get that rattled before, but it was kind of funny. Now, a lot of people on online are saying, well, you know, that guy's a coward. If he had something to say, he should have admitted to it. Well, the thing is, as a lot of you know, you can get in trouble for using words in this country now. And there were two cops and you could see them kind of walking towards him. Now, I'm not saying he would have gotten arrested, but maybe he was a little bit nervous about that. I'm sure he wasn't intimidated by a coward like Jugmeet Singh. Now, that being said, there's again a lot of people online. They're saying, well, this is actually a win for Jugmeet Singh because he got in the guy's face. And it's like, well, hold on a second. We all know if Pierre Paul Yed did Pierre Polyev did this, the people on the left would be saying the same things that we're saying about Jugmeet Singh. And that's it. That is, he should not have confronted that guy. And I'm not, you know, inciting any violence or anything like that. Just want to make that very clear. But when you get aggressive to somebody and you get, and you then get within arm's reach, in my opinion, you're starting to fight. I'm glad a fight didn't happen. But Jugmeet Singh needs to be also more professional. This Canadian citizen is not a member of parliament. He is not a politician. And these politicians keep saying, oh, we need to have better decorum and yada, 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 self-control. Well, Jugmeet Singh didn't really show a lot of self-control. There was no need for him to just, oh, what did you say? Oh, like an athlete, act like a tough guy. Like Jugmeet, you're not even strong enough to stand up to Justin Trudeau, who's also another coward. So don't pretend you're tough by walking up to a Canadian citizen when there's cops around, like you're going to do something about it. Like, like what a complete, just unhinged douchebag this guy is. And I, I mean, again, I, I know the guy who said that, I mean, it looked like the guy who was confronted was the one who said it. But that being said, who cares? Keep walking. You're a professional, right? Yeah, I guess that he's the professional who's been kicked out of parliament twice for unparliamentary language and now he's just showing again he has no self-control people have said way worse than what this guy has said to jugmeet saying to my face online and you just go oh, okay and you laugh and you walk away who cares he's that butthurt because someone told the truth it's just absolutely ridiculous how it how easy it is to basically trigger someone who should be hard to trigger that shouldn't have if they said something about like race or about one of his family members all right he, he called jugmeet singh a coward okay that's what pretty much everyone in canada thinks of him anyway well what'd you say and then he go i don't know if you guys heard it but he goes yeah you say that to my face that's what's up that's what's up like you're gonna do something about it he's gonna get his, his suit dirty by starting a fight yeah, he's going to get his socialist suit dirty to fight someone because they used words right. Again, the guy should have admitted it and owned up to what he said. But 
I don't think it's him that looks, he should probably shouldn't yell at politicians. But that being said, when you participate in destroying a country, especially for the last two years with the coalition, people are going to get pissed off. And it's your fault, dude. No one asked you to sign that coalition. A lot of his own supporters didn't want him to sign the coalition. And he's going to lash out like that and pretend he's a tough guy. Please, Jug Me, we all see through it. No one thinks you're tough. No one's intimidated by you. It was probably the cops that were walking closer, listening if there was anything that they could arrest him for. Because again, like we all know, we don't have freedom of speech in this country. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I know this is a bit of a short video. I will be posting another one later tonight as well after work. But I just wanted to post this because I thought it was funny. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow this channel. And I will be back shortly with a new video.